right? Coming up on a... Whoa, my gosh. Okay, what the heck was that? That was like gonna send me in the other lane. Okay, canceling that, I guess. Oh yeah, I could see I could get confused here. Look at that. Oh my gosh, it put me in the opposite. Okay, so I felt like I needed to make some type of intro for this video. Um, if you want to just kind of skip ahead and, and see the, the footage of the car going in the wrong lane, you know, you can do that. I was out doing a video for my Autopilot Challenge series, and I was looking for roundabouts. Um, and Autopilot does not claim to be able to do roundabouts, uh, but the Autopilot system a lot of times can do things that it doesn't specifically say it can do. Um, and it's always gaining new abilities. So these tests are really interesting to kind of see exactly where the system is at, especially as new software updates come out. So this was on 2019.20.4.2, and I was going towards this roundabout, which I had already tried a few times, um, but not from this exact angle on the road. And if you look, you can see that the middle divider line is going straight, and then it breaks, you know, for a minute for people that are turning um, onto the street there, so when they restart the line, you can see it's kind of at a weird angle compared to the line um, that it, it came from. And so the car gets confused and it puts you in the, the wrong direction in traffic. Now again, this is not where Autopilot is advertised to be used. It doesn't say to use it on surface streets, but the truth is you can activate it anywhere that little gray steering wheel pops up. And then you can turn it on and, and it's on and it's gonna work. Like always, like I say in all my videos, you always have to pay attention. I'm always paying attention when I'm using it. I always have a hand on the wheel. Um, so this, I was caught off guard. I really didn't expect this to happen, but at the same time, it wasn't like I was close to getting into some kind of accident or anything like that. I mean, it did something really wrong, of course, and it'd be nice if it would never do that. Um, but that's why when you have autopilot on, you just gotta pay attention. But, you know, like I say, I am just trying to kind of share my experience with everybody, you know, positive and negative. Everything I'm seeing with this car, with the self-driving capabilities, um, and what I'm experiencing as the software updates come out. So it's a pretty specific circumstance. And if you follow um, Green The Only, that's another um, YouTuber, and he's like on Reddit and stuff. Um, he's actually experienced this before. Now the break um, in the yellow line for him was much longer. I just had a very short, you know, um, part where the yellow line wasn't there and the car was able to move over. So I'll link to his video below. His, his stuff is really interesting. Again, I just wanted to share this with everybody. So just check out these clips. Um, you know, I mean, it's, it's not good. Hopefully Tesla can fix this pretty quickly, especially they want full self-driving by the end of the year. I mean, that includes all surface streets, roundabouts, breaks in lines in the road. I mean, it's, it's got to be able to cover all those cases if they're really going to do what they're saying. Um, so tell me what you think, you know, comment below if, if you think, you know, this is ridiculous or maybe not that big of a deal, kind of whatever your opinion is on this. So check out these clips and then I'll be uh, uploading that roundabout video hopefully in a few days. I, I need to find a few more to test on. All right, so this just turned into another video. So there's a spot up here where the yellow line is uh, broken for, I don't know, maybe 15 feet or so. And um, the continuation, you know, so you have yellow line and then it stops and then it continues up here. And the continuation isn't exactly like lined up with where it breaks off. And it seemed like the car was gonna go in the opposite lane of traffic. So it's, it's up here, you'll see on the left. Uh, I'm gonna try it again and see if it really is gonna do that. but. Oh yeah, I could see how I could get confused here. Look at that. Oh my gosh, it put me in the opposite. Okay. Let's test that a couple more times and see if that keeps happening. Because the first time, <laughs> there was a car there, so I obviously, you know, didn't let it do that. All right, so here we go. This time I'm gonna give the car another car to follow. And maybe that, it won't go in the opposite. This isn't what autopilot is advertised for. It's advertised for highway use. But, you know, people use it where there are lines. Oh my gosh, look at it. What the heck? It like completely ignored what this guy did and just threw me into the opposite lane. That is kind of scary. But, I mean, you gotta pay attention. Uh, and then things like that won't happen. But geez, that's pretty crazy. All right, I'm gonna give it one more try but I think that's pretty much gonna happen every time. Okay, so one last try here. Um, I, I mean, I assume it's gonna do that every time. It's done it three times in a row now.
Yep. Oh, and there's a car there. Jeez. Okay, well, <laughs> pay attention when you're on autopilot. I mean, you won't come across anything like that on a highway or whatever. Um, but it's still pretty scary. So comment below what you think about that. Um, I, I don't know, but the car must not take into account the color of the lane lines or anything like that. Um, pretty crazy stuff.